Hey everyone, Jim Phoenix here, and boy, do we have another exciting adventure of Streaming Demons. We have Brannock with the old witchcraft from 1964. Apparently, they found the only witchcraft movie about titties. I batting the new with Resident Evil, the TV series. That's right. If you have Netflix or a Pulse, you already know about this one. And we do our superpower team up with Ouija House. Tara Reed and Maestro Barton. Now that's a portal made in hell. All this and more, allegedly, the next stream in Demons. Hit it. Hey everyone, Jim Phoenix here. And boy, are we excited to have you in our brand new format at Streamin' Demons. If you are new to Streamin' Demons, you will notice one thing. Nothing, because you're new. But if you are old hat, you're like, whoa, why are these have special guests? We still have special guests once in a while, but we want them to be special. It means like every once in a while, not every week. So our new format is still something borrowed, something blue, something old, something new, whatever it is, right? And I take one. My forever, ever co-host, Jam Brennick, say hello. Hello. They take one. And then we team our powers together and we tackle something more horrible than Roller Gator on steroids. No, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, spoilers. It, it wasn't good. Spoilers. It was pretty good. It was. It was fine. It was, it was fine. fine. Did we watch this one together? The one we're about to do. Uh, kind of. I think you really? watched the trailer and said it was terrible, and then I watched it and said, you know, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. No. I. I. I think we we're supposed to do this for, J. Not. Not Jam. Jam squared. squared. Yeah. This was supposed Shan to be was Jam squared. Too? Yeah, we have so many podcasts. You guys have no idea. <laughs> I actually have two podcasts that are, are going to come out. Uh, as my Alexa tells me to work on the theme music, but yeah, sorry guys, we we team up some stuff and it's and be sequels. awesome. Eventually sequels, sequels, <laughs> sequels. Yes, fuck. You know a lot of things in the yeah, mix. I, I have two podcasts with entire seasons recorded already for bite-sized horror for kids it's not as a guy kids show no swearing like that. It's for little kids and we teamed up with the people the very nice people from uh, least favorite podcast horrors and for buffy the vampire slayer entire fucking se entire season yeah they're uh, great I'm, we uh we had teamed I'm up with them previous yeah, previously no. previously previously in the previous, previously of our house. And if, if you're new to Streaming Demons, this is where time of the show where Brannick and I will have to fuck up the English language so bad. We're like, I think I know what they meant. That's this okay. Time, That's the okay. first time like ever is probably you. It's like yeah. you and me a thousand percent. So Well, I watched a British horror, so it very much confused mm. me of what English actually sounds like. Yeah, well, they usually talk with that really broken Northern Ireland, or Northern Ireland, Northern London <laughs> accent, those, those British horrors. Yeah, they, they like governor, like all that the horrors, right? Horrors, have like, yes. Oh, horrors. horrors. Oh, horrors. I think it's a British horrors. Horrors. Oh, okay. Horrors. Oh, that's what. Okay, that's why your movie doesn't have nudity. It's that's a British correct. horror. Oh Jesus! It's a British horror. Honestly, okay. I'll just let you introduce it. So, Brannock, you have the old, and yes. since we had no special guest, like, oh, I can't follow that. I'm, you know, or, go for it. What, okay. what movie did you do that's a British horror? Now, this is witchcraft, and it's not the witchcraft from the 80s, surprisingly. You would think that would be my cup of tea. But I chose witchcraft from 1964, which is a British horror, horror. film. And, and it's not a Hammer film, but it does have. it was directed by Don Sharp, who did do a lot of Hammer horror films. And it st uh, stars uh, Lon Chaney Jr., uh, which, you know, it was kind of um, a mixed bag. Uh, it was a lost opportunity because he really should have tried to do a horrible British accent. And he did not. He just was Lon Chaney Jr. <laughs> He's just like, I, I'm this guy. Yes. I went to England. I I'm totally British. Program. I'm totally British. I'm totally not a werewolf in this. I was movie. like, didn't he do that in like in, in as a werewolf too? Like, I am a tourist. Whatever <laughs> town this is, he basically, I think, did that in every movie. 
It didn't matter where he was. Except for the Taurus. Then he was just like, uh, uh, I'm from here. But I, it it was, it was a shame. He really should have gone for it. He did not. Uh, But basically, (laughs) uh, witchcraft is like the Hatfields and the McCoys, but British and with witches and with land development. Damn it, Jim. I'm a doctor, not a witch. No. Or a land developer. McCoy. Wrong McCoy. Okay. I, or, damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor, not a land developer. So, our main protagonist wants to build stuff. Uh, oh, good for him. And to or progress her. wherever they are. Uh, but is the member of the jolly old McCoys and kind of bulldozes the crypt of an old timey witch who looks honestly better than half the Bumble profiles that I see. Uh, but for some reason, they think she looks very creepy. And it's like uh, half of the bubble profiles you see. Yeah, I mean, basically. Bumble, uh, you suck, by the way. I own stock in a tank. So oh, did it? How, Bumble's the only one that's like, it's a pandemic. Be friendly. I'm like, okay, once the pandemic's over, we'll feel bounce back. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of a shame. I kind of like Bumble, the idea of it, and that you can really? also Did you get play friends. in Bumble? Huh? Yeah, wink. You, you, you didn't do Bumble friends, did you? Oh, for fuck's sakes. I like friends. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't we all? Ugh, anyway. That's, much of the, that's just random me, that's me randomly clapping. It wasn't actually the song, so hold your lawyers. <laughs> don't you have a button for that now? Did you no. with Pro have a button for clapping? <laughs> I should be able to put the clap. <sighs> no, no, that's, that's, that's as close as it gets. Uh, welcome like, to doing this over. the new yeah. stream and demons. <laughs> new stream and demons, thanks to Zencaster, Z E N C A S T R dot com, for giving me like a, a way too long trial for their pro. I'm just yeah, messing uh, around. Way too long. So the the crypt of the um the witch is disturbed, and uh, she happens to be an old timey Hatfield. And, uh, you can't say your lines. You're talking no, about a witch, an a, old witch, an, an old, old witch. woman who died. She, yeah, and she was buried alive in her tomb. <laughs> and so, basically, there are two young lovers who are in love with each other, oh. who are because of Hatfields and McCoys, you know, mm-hmm. and they're forbidden to love and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, and witches and witches covens and black candles and land development. Hey, hey. African American calendars, come on. You can't be fucking doing that racist shit. No, I said black is in like with the the capitalized. Capital I? Capitalized. Like your peepers? Your, not your eyes? Is from Africa. They're not African American. We we could have Canadian listeners still. They're not I don't know. We're in New Mexico now. That's true. I don't know why I just changed my accent like this. That's not how they talk in New Mexico, <laughs> but my mind that's how they talk. And also, welcome to a new Haunted MTL, guys. It is not uh, it's metal. metal. It's metal, metal now. Haunted yeah. metal. As the, the movie that Brannick is reviewing is so good, we're talking about rebranding from Montreal to metal. Well, I'm point. just saying that there's a lot going on in our lives. That was not watching this movie whatsoever. I yeah. enjoyed this movie. Okay, so why did you pick this movie? Why did you pick this movie? Uh, I liked the cover art. <laughs> I liked the cover art. and Right, exactly. Home run. Home run for me. And it's Lon Cheney Jr. Art. You know, like, it's that's that's fun. It's a fun oh, thing. Man. And it was British. And, you know, I thought it was going to be a hammer oh, horror. God. It was not. Uh, but it still was, it was still really good cinematography actually very good cinematography in the in the way that uh back in the old days of the old time dark shadows kind of cinematography okay with uh johnny depp no oh god no we don't talk about that one no oh how about the one with what we do in the shadows that's a good show but no movie Uh oh and great movie yeah Uh and And our flag mean stuff is also great. Just Shit, a plug we there. We should probably do that movie next. We could. We could. We're doing the shadows. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, this movie I enjoyed. 
I did enjoy. You enjoy? Oh God, you enjoy this? Movie? I enjoyed it. Yes, it was great. It was gothic in the way that British it movies wore black. are. It was deep. Um, it was fun in that the witch really wasn't all that scary, but witch every time witch? that the they would look at her, the music would drill like we were supposed to be terrified out of our minds. The witch pushes an old woman down the stairs, and that's funny. Was the queen? It was not the queen. And anyway, the queen would just like brush herself up and get back up, like. <laughs> Sorry. I swear to God, Jim. I, swear I need to, to work for the most inappropriate times, and uh, we'd like to uh, thank our uh, sponsor, the Food Bank from like Dead Kittens. <laughs> you need da 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 da. That's the da 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 one. Sure. Anyway. Since Next you time. don't give a shit about this movie, and I, I do, try to, but I, I do. You I found the only shit. witchcraft movie that had no titties. What, what I mean, shit? it had titties. The they were just one. covered. They oh were covered, God. hidden titties. Actually, I think that was what the Name movie was called. Too. This was what the movie was called before they changed the, the title to Witchcraft. Yeah. Okay, so you have Lon Chaney, and he's throwing old women downstairs. He is not the witches. He's just acting uh, very old and wearing a, a cape. As one does. Yeah. Apparently. I mean, he's Lon Chaney. He, it was the old Lon Chaney Jr. So he was kind of like at this point, like, where's my paycheck? But he has a great voice. He does have a great booming voice. Everybody a did a great job. Great booming voice, Jimbo. Yeah, not like that. Sounds like someone else you know. No, you know, it doesn't. No, not like that. A great booming voice. So I would give this one a three out of five Cthulhu's. Three out of five, but that's a lot. Now I have to ask: Were there any type? Because I know Lon Chaney is also very famous for like twelve hours of makeup. There was no makeup with with really? him. He's just like f this. I'm just going to stay my line straight. And this like is a paycheck like, for him, right? And like I said, even with the witch, like they had done some makeup on her, you could tell, like to make her look kind of mm. older. But honestly, I mean, she looked really good still for being like nine hundred years old, two hundred, yeah, whatever. It no. was like from the sixteen hundreds. So, however long that is, I'm homeschooled. I don't know. I don't do math. No, man, you homeskin it. That's okay. That's why you do your, your messed up Cthulhu radius. I'm doing a 3.72. No, my, my skills of of critiquing it are on point. Everything else is just kind of... You know what? Usually the they side. are. Mm-hmm. Usually they are. I, I do enjoy when you're you know, drawing dinosaur penises. And Thank stuff. you. I appreciate yeah. that. I put a lot really of work well into them. I it was really well done. It was amazingly well done, by the way. Thank you. I think Thank you should you. do a comic strip, by the way. Of dinosaur penises? Uh, Maybe. Maybe I will. You can call it witchcraft. (laughs) I'll call it hidden titties. Hidden titties. Hidden titties. five. Revenge. The titting. The The titting. The titting. Yeah. So, okay. Three. I I, I can't. I have to follow that. You have to follow that. Unless you want to go straight to Ouija House, which you do not. No, I do not. God. (laughs) Uh, Ouija House sounds such a better idea when we said it. It was it was fun. And then I, liked I remembered. It. Then I had to rewatch the fucking trailer. I'm like, oh, that's painful. You just had to watch rewatch the trailer, and you're already complaining. Yeah. Oh God, I forgot about it. All right, mine is the new 2022 Resident Evil from Netflix. If you thought, you know what, 2022 needs another fucking zombie series. <laughs> if you thought that, but boy, does Netflix have something for you. I guess. I don't know. It is Resident Evil and in, in kind of like skin only, like Umbrella Companies. They Umbrella Company, is that the thing? Yeah, Umbrella Resident Company. Company. <laughs> I mean the Umbrella Academy. The company, Umbrella whatever. Academy okay. of Company, yes. It, it, they're just like fucking umbrellas at Netflix now. I don't know, man. If the Witcher fights with an umbrella, I'm fucking out. I'm like, that's it. We're good. So we have the setup, I believe. I only watched the. I, I believe I only watched. I did just watch like the first like three or four episodes, but I believe the setup is thirty years after the outbreak. Whatever, 
it is kind of going back and forth from time at ping pongs a bit. And if you listen to my last podcast about Stranger Things, I'm oh my sorry God. for offending like most of the nation, apparently. But <laughs> it's, I stand by it. It still sucks. Whatever, dude. I like the way Resident Evil... Boy, everyone hates Resident Evil, by the way. I like the way Resident Evil did the exposition because you actually could see it interacting with the story versus just like someone reading off a card, which is kind of bizarre for me. The acting is well done. I like the casting. Lance Riddick is amazing in this. I actually thought he was someone else. I'm like, this is great. But <laughs> he, he acted so well, you thought he was someone else. Absolutely. That's all you need for me. I'm like, if you can make me go like, who are you? I thought it was a dude from Spartacus. I'm like, <laughs> Wait, holy the one shit, that's passed? dude from Arabic. Yeah, I thought it was, it was Resident Evil. They bring people back. Oh, um, touche R.A.P. Yeah, I, I'm not I'm not bringing that out. Don't worry. I mean, hold on. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. <laughs> but I thought he was the dude from Spartacus probably because, like, uh, oh, I can't remember his name right now. But... That guy was in the Snake Eyes movie I was watching. I couldn't get through because it was just no story, just Snake Eyes whatsoever. <laughs> it's just like fight scenes are okay fight scenes and some cheesy dialogue. So maybe that was my mind while I was watching Resident Evil. And then you have two actresses that are a bit believable. You know, it's the dialogue is a bit believable, the acting is a bit believable. The CGI, not whatsoever. Uh, it's it's horrible. The CGI is just tremendously bad. Oh, is it like, like early two thousands bad? God, no. It, it it's not even that good. I believe Ooh. someone online compared to the Starship Troopers level of CGI. Is it like and sci-fi from the early two thousands bad sci-fi channel? I I think. And, and here's what it comes down to. I, I think all the Stranger Thing money went to Netflix. Or they just gave Stranger Thing all the money. Mm-hmm. And there was no money left over for any type of budget whatsoever for anything else. And this sorely shows. It, it just, it's not. It ever see the Incredible Hulk? Not like the Lou Fregno, Mr. Fregno, if you're listening, hi. But the movie, the first movie, or the second movie, the one with, uh, who was that director? James Wan? Uh, Lee? Ang Lee? Ang Lee, that one too. Oh, James Wan did Conjuring. My bad. I own a a horror company. (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) And Ang Lee, where we had like the pixelations, you can actually see it pixelate out. Yeah, it's that level. Where, like, god. They they did actually some decent practical effects. I'm like, well, this could all be practical. It could be Walking Dead. You know, if you're going to copy The Walking Dead, you might as well just be Walking Dead and do practical effects. And that's what the strength of Walking Dead is, practical effects. And when they do a CGI, it's just like boring as fuck. Honestly, I really enjoy, I think some of the best things from Resident Evil, the movie. Um, Besides Millie which uh, Yeah, and her 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 beaver shot. Yeah. Um, that's what they needed in witchcraft. That's what they needed in, in a Shit. lot of movies. <laughs> just, and not anybody else. House. Just just Mia Jovovich. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, 100%. Um, Sorry. You were saying what Resident Evil movies did well. Yeah. Is the practical effects. Like, I think everybody remembers zombie dogs. You know, like, that's and what people remember. That's a shitty thing. No major spoilers. They bring zombie dogs back. I'm pretty sure it's CGI. Yeah, see, and that's that's the unfortunate thing because when you have really good practical effects, those are the it's things that last man. that in people's minds. Yeah, I I agree, and that's where I I I have an open mind with this. I was excited of I was, I was showing someone sex education on Netflix, and like you know, if you keep your Netflix on, it shows like random bullshit to you, like a screensaver. I'm like Resident Evil has a this is how out of it I've been. I've been sick for a while. Like, oh, they have a TV show? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> when does it come out? Oh, all the episodes are out already? Oh, okay. 
And I was excited to see it. Because I like the Resident Evil movies. Even the ones were cheesy as hell. Writing is just like action figure, brain candy, whatever it is. This ain't that. It's got parts of that in it. It's now, got, how much do you think yeah. is, is Mila Jovovich then oh, to it? 90. Yeah. Like 90%. Honestly, God, it's like a Jackie Chan movie doesn't work with fucking Bruce Willis. Right. I'm like, what the fuck? Bruce Willis, like, jumping around his t- desk and table? No, it don't work that way. Oh, I guess uh, he's doing Die Hard 12. But, yeah, I know the actor or actress can carry a, a movie or a TV show. And the talent of Resident Evil is there. Like, the acting is there. Which is unfortunate because everything else is letting him down. That's to be frustrating as fuck. I'm like, oh, I'm doing my best I can with this shit. <laughs> what do you want? It, Obi-Wan Kenobi. But not, you know. You know, it, it's the, man, I can't believe I'm doing this bullshit. Like, student film for this guy named George Lucas. Yeah. Oh, goodness. But... We have no one was at that level of acting here, obviously. Not to disparage anyone in the cast, but come on, like the guy had a body of work that's longer than everyone's been alive on your cast. So we have this, it's interesting, it's got a family drama, it should be more interesting than this. And the effects are just wonky and just the the writing is a bit hokey, it falls down. Like there's a guy who is like the lead scientist and he he's hard ass sometimes he's nice sometimes but whatever but there's unbelievable parts this is where in a zombie film you have to believe part of the world you have to believe this can exist and that's where i think resident evil goes like holy shit this could exist but you're trying to figure shit out with the people you know and this is not that it is a zombie mm-hmm. film where two little girls break into a highly secure federal know whatever umbrella company really is federal level security like just two little girls like oh i'm gonna go go here who knows who cares as pain will say who cares but like how does that work they just like waltz on in through the this this top security no fuck that that's that's not believable yeah it's not within the realm of possibility for me and then the other thing it's just like, this guy has to take these injections, otherwise he might, I don't know, die. I, I just watched the first couple episodes. He, he's, as Lizzo would say, he has a spaz attack. I, I just found out she got shit for using the word spaz in her fucking song. And she changed it, and she got more shit. So, fuck people today. That's, that's today's fucking thing. Fuck people. But he, he just freaks out, you know, it shakes, you know, you don't know if he's going to die or not. And he has a timer. Like, if you knew that you needed an injection every, let's say, 12 hours, wouldn't you set your timer for 10? Do you think that he, and maybe this (laughs) is a spoiler, is he like a zombie? I I don't know. Honestly, God, I can't even answer that if it was a spoiler or not. I I don't even know. I do know, like, one of his daughters has perfect Wolverine (laughs) blood that heals everything and some shit, and the other daughter is like a vegan. Oh, maybe the perfect, maybe the the thing that he injects is the blood of oh, the perfect daughter. I think I think so. If they take the vials, out. yeah, yeah, maybe. But it's 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 interesting enough. I'm I'm gonna say this: if you are looking for a Resident Evil true to the video game, obviously this ain't it. If you're looking for a Resident Evil that has Milovich, far as I know, this ain't it. If you're looking for Resident Evil that has great CGI or practical, and this ain't it either. I, it, what does practical effects, it does do, do them well, by the way. I should not mm-hmm. disparage that. But if you just want to shut your brain off and watch like a soap op, okay. if you want to, if you're like, man, I really wish Miss Marvel had fucking zombies in it. There you go. Mm. This, is your, this is your TV show. It's that teeny level of like, your brain shut off you'll enjoy it if you're sick at home which i was that's why i was watching this <laughs> like yeah if you're sick at home this is your jam man you can fall asleep and not give a shit you're like wake up and like i did this i was watching i do this too many times in movies too i was watching first episode so good 
Second episode, mostly good. Woke up around the fourth episode. I'm like, uh, fuck it. <laughs> I figure out those gaps in the storyline. It's fine. Someone <laughs> escaped from something. Someone did this. There, there's not a lot of stakes sometimes. And sometimes there's a lot. Of, who knows? It sounds like a watered-down WV version. It is. Yeah. It, it, that, that's a, that's, I think that's apt. It's like someone said, I want to remake The Walking Dead, but I want to do it for the Hallmark Channel. And please, if they give us a budget for any effects, I want to blow it all on a CGI dog. No, I know we have dogs. Oh, I know we have dogs. I know we could do dogs that are practical. I know. Our franchise has them. But I want the worst CGI dog to make people go, I'm like, I'm paying an 8-bit video game right now? What the fuck? Honestly, that would be more entertaining, I think, if the, kind of the, like the a, business? no, just having an 8-bit kind of system, like, you know. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to give this, uh, I thought like, the internet's taking tearing us apart. I think it's got like three point five on IMDb. I'm like, that's too high. That rumor IMDb is out of ten. I'm like, oh no. Yeah, <laughs> I was just gonna say like that's out of ten. I am flipping between a two five and a three, but because I like the cast, I'm giving it a three. Okay, I give it a three. I mean, you got to know what it is. If you're expecting Kino, is this obviously it? Yeah. But give it a three. Make your own decisions. If you have Netflix, don't buy Netflix for this. Yeah. Like, like oh, I really want like Resident Evil. Like, no, just just save your fucking money. Don't don't get Netflix just for this. But if you unfortunately bought it for Resident or Resident Evil, um, Stranger Things four, you're like, man, I I wish I could watch something that makes Stranger Things four look better. I think this you found it. This is this is the niche. Maybe that's why they bought it. Maybe that's why Netflix developed this. Like, we need to make Stranger Things four look better in comparison. We made this movie, so yeah, I'll do. I'll go three out of five Cthulhu's. It's okay. not horrible, but whatever. We got three, three. We got two, yeah. three. Oh crap! Yeah. That's right. We did three, three. Yeah. We're gonna break this with right now. So <laughs> as our team up, we are doing. Oh God. Vigiados. Uh, none here's other. Someone here's a cat. Uh, none other than yeah, the Ouija House. You're right. Ouija House. I I. I agreed to Ouija House. I don't know why I agreed to Ouija House. It sounded like a good idea at the time. It's not a good <laughs> idea anytime. It is painful. And we have people in Ouija House, we don't even know what they do. And I mean, like the actors and actresses, I, I don't know these people. They, they sound familiar. Misha Barton... I swear I've heard this name many times. I don't know why though. I don't know. I don't know from where. I don't I looked at her like IMDB and I'm like I The O C I didn't watch that. Me neither. So I you know, like I'm like, I don't know where I know you from. But her jeans and clothes commercial volume one? Oh yeah. Definitely that. That would be it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Once and again, tart kablam. <laughs> I, I, these are things I don't even know what they are. They, they they just like. I know. I remember kablam, but I don't remember what she was or who she was. Um, uh, Betty Ann Bongo, I guess. I guess it's a cartoon show, then, right? It's a, it's a voice. Um, kablam was. It was a few different types of cartoons, and. Oh. Um, Things like that, yeah. Was one a jeans commercial? Because that's what she's most popular for, apparently. Oh, okay. Um, and I know people are screaming at us. She was in blah, oh, blah, Oh, I know. Blah, blah. People are probably, like, Fuck, man. dying right now. And I'm sorry, but I, I'm an old box. I don't know yeah. what... I'm, I'm a dinosaur. I don't know what she does. And um, we do research. We looked this up. I still don't know why I know the yeah. name. But Tara like, Reid's in it. Tara Reid is in it. Like, I know, I know her name. She's like trash but she's not that. really in it. In it, she's yeah, in it for that's like upsetting. Not very long, which is very upsetting, to be yeah, honest. I, I I really do like Tara Reid. I enjoy her movies. I, I when you said a Tara Reid movie, like, oh great, Sharknado would be awesome. Like yeah, no, Ouija House. I'm like really? 
I'm looking forward to her Tara Reads uh, new podcast. Yes, I, I, I think we need to make that happen. <laughs> Uh, where she reads life, reads uh, books and she's going to be on Audible. <laughs> yeah, I'm firing all you motherfuckers. I'm hiring Tara Reed to do a podcast. That's a hundred percent. I understand. I get that. I, I implore yeah. that. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, she's not in it for very long, which is a shame. I liked the concept of this idea. This is a me good too idea. Um, right. is the execution, I don't know. So the concept is, you know, um, well, for one, you know, in the eighties, um, they were doing a Ouija board reading in a, in a witch house, bad things happened, you know? Yeah. Um, I think only one of them survives, which I believe is Tara and years later, um, right. yeah. they're going to go to the house, these new people. And they're going to do it all again, these new kids. Why not? Why not? Um, because it's spooky and whatnot. So, but the thing <laughs> is, instead of using a, a real like Ouija board, um, the house becomes the Ouija board. Right, because they, it's painted on the walls and stuff. It's right? painted on the walls yeah. and stuff, and also on her one of the girls. I don't think this is too much of a spoiler. Breast? <laughs> I, well, was it the I breast? Mean, I don't remember. She she swallows the planchette, which is a stone. Oh, she swallows Kate Blanchett. Yeah, I don't remember that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was extremely graphic. Graphic. Yeah, like, like a picture or some stuff. It was extremely visceral and graphic that she swallows Kate Blanchett. Um, I love looking at it. No, well, she... I guess people love looking at that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, no, she swallows the planchet, which I think is a stone, and um, she kind of becomes the planchet herself because she's possessed. Yeah. And yeah. she's the one who's going through the house. And so basically the house is the Ouija board, and they're trying to find their way out of said house and also trying to find the the reason why the house is haunted so again this is actually really an interesting concept it's an interesting premise um it was kind of fun looking for the clues inside the house those clues uh and i thought that was great the execution it was a little bit like early 2000s Blumhouse, you know, the type of just like, hey, we're friends, we're friends gonna party. Hey, guess what, guys? I got a Ouija board. Where are no, Ouija no, no, no. Hold up, hold up. It's not that good. <laughs> I, I watched the damn trailer again. It's not that good. It, it's people reading plastic lines. I don't know if it's because of editing or the acting. I don't know what's off. Something's are off. you Sometimes... saying that I should go back in time and be in a Blumhouse? film from the uh, early you, 2000s you can do blumhouse now thank you i, mean, I, I, I enjoy that. blumhouse i no, I think no blumhouse now is i think a, a lot juggernaut. better I think what oh yeah they're a juggernaut but i think when they were first getting their feet wet um well they're just throwing like spaghetti yeah they were throwing stuff. spaghetti yeah. so there was a lot of a lot of duds too and um, well, you're just, to be fair it's more duds than i had or that, that makes me sound better or worse. I don't. Know. I, don't know I, what I was that trying to pump like. them up. I was meaning like you. you, you TMI. I don't want to know what you Take all the shots you miss, or uh, don't make it out. I think you're just actually making them sound worse. <laughs> to be honest, you miss all the shots you take. So how, well, do, how am I supposed to do this now? Well, I'm. Sorry, what Jason. I'm saying is they finally found their footing. They finally found, I think, um, a With really a good, good. Yeah. Um, Blood scene worse than carry place that works for them, uh. But some of the early two thousand ones were a little bit rough. Like what? Like what? 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 I'm trying to remember some of them because a lot of them were forgettable. I'm sorry, they were. But you know who's not forgettable? D Wallace, and D Wallace is in Ouija House. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Zencaster or your no. fucking shoes. Your fucking no. zeros shoes or whatever. 
my XERO zero shoes? No, but they're fantastic. D Wallace, she might have a pair, but she can't have mine. <laughs> I'm very jealous of. I mean, those just protective of my shoes, my zero shoes. X E R O S H O E S dot com, and you know, use promo code hmm, later on. But I love D Wallace, and when she was in it, it made me excited to say, "My D Wallace," and we got Tara Reed and Misha Burton. If I remember who who that hell that is, yeah. I was so excited, and that was it. It was like, my girlfriend is a good witch. And I mean, I'm giving the delivery actually better props than it should. So I, I just, I don't understand things, man. Like, I don't know. And there's some really good horror people. Like, we have Tiffany Shepis is in this. Like, there's some really good individual actors and actresses yeah no they, but they just can't pull together for some reason i think i the think writing. it was the writing i think and a directing. lot of it was the writing and kind the of editing. the directing um like it could also be and honestly god I, i've seen this in movies before maybe I'm just polishing it for my own acting <laughs> there, there's some stuff in the editing that's like what did you do maybe that's what this is it's just like they just or it. honestly what happens a lot in the movie biz from what i hear especially in horror um is that you know uh producers get involved or you know companies get involved and they say we want you to cut this we want you to cut that we want and then it makes the story weaker and more watered down and just a lot more chaotic and so, and that could have also happened. It could have been maybe a, a bigger story or a more robust story. And, you know, corporate interference said, no, 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 we can't have that and that and that. You got to cut all that. Yeah, which is, I believe, why we picked this for James Squared because, damn it, this is a good premise. Yeah, it's a great a premise. F- fucking house is the Ouija board? Are you shitting me? That's honestly, awesome. Honestly, honestly, if we could remake a movie, I would love to this see this remake. Want? I would love to see this remake. What because, was the budget of this movie? Uh, that's a good question. Honestly, the wiki for this movie is not very expansive. No, it's kind of like it was a movie. Yeah, that's exactly it. It was a movie. Um, they actually spent less money on promotion than okay it gross up any movie that grosses less than my yearly salary that's not like a indie darling bullshit thing mm, yeah yeah needs to something is horrifically wrong with you which again is a shame because i feel maybe again it's a good premise so i'm thinking maybe the writer did have a good script and it just got watered down yeah and it was 2018 no, uh, it couldn't have yeah. been, was it? Released May 5th, 2018. So Are it was like, you can't even blame me? this shit on pandemic. Oh, it felt like it was from the 2005 era. <laughs> no offense, it did. No, it's just really poorly done. Yeah. I, I, and I, I think. And it could have been good. And I think that's where I, I really push for movies like that. Because it's like, it, it did have a great premise. It had, it had a great um, poster. It does have a good poster. It by does the way. have a great poster. I think we actually mentioned this before in a different podcast. We probably never released. The poster's <laughs> the best thing in the movie. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It's very eye catching. It's and you know, honestly, if we, they did do um, a reworking of it, this could really work, and it could be and, a good movie. Yeah, and, and it's so. You know how frustrating I am? It's got Chris Mulkey in it. Like, he's an award winning actor. <laughs> For fuck's sakes. Oh, really? Oh, he that's... did Captain Phillips and Whiplash and Castle Rock. He did Twin Peaks, Boardwalk, but he was doing all this stuff. Oh, he's a great actor. These are individually, arguably, uh, solid actors and actresses. They do not work together well. Like there's no chemistry whatsoever. There's no cohesion. There's no nothing. That's why I think, I, I think you're right. I think they did there some scenes, and the editor's like, "Well, we need to do something, though." Yeah, I think so. I think it's just it's a watered down whatever it was supposed to be because it, it 
it just didn't rise to what it could have been. And it could have been really good. Yeah, it had Lisha Barton in it. And, Who the hell and, that she is? Had, and she had great <laughs> jeans. She was wearing some great She's jeans. Perfect jeans. I think she was a good witch. I don't know. So what do you think you would give this movie then? I was dreading that question. <laughs> I know. Hmm. Maybe I'll give this like a oh, I don't know. Big pile of fuck you. No, I'll give this a uh <laughs> Welcome to Streaming Demon. Ah! Uh shit, like a two? Yeah, I was gonna say a two point five for me. Two point five for you? Okay. Yeah, because again, there were some things that I liked in it. Um I think just something went wrong. Something went wrong in the process because you can see people trying and you can see people putting in effort and that there was originality to it. Um, yeah. I just don't know where in the process it fell. It, it, and it did fall, man. It wasn't... And it's not special effects. The special effects were fine. The, the, yeah. the lighting, the, the individual components of this was fine. Yeah. It's just something really didn't click. Yeah, something something happened. And I don't I can't put my finger on what, but something happened. And if you were involved in Ouija House <laughs> and you would like to reach out to us, uh, you can reach out to us at Haunted MTL on Twitter. Yeah. Um, or I'll have you on. You can pimp we're on you Instagram. On. Interview. We're in, on Instagram. You know, oh yeah, learn about Instagram reels. Yeah, I know. I don't really care much about Instagram because I don't, you know, whatever. But I learned that reels, if you do a reel, it gets like thousands of views. Oh, it's bizarre. People like more people see me put together a bike than like anything else we had on Instagram for horror. I mean. Putting together a bike is an important facet in our lives. I guess, man. I don't know. Um, I, don't, I do not know how any of this stuff works. I'm sorry, people. Yeah, I try my I, best. I, I, I make the most beautiful dinosaur penises, and I put them on my you Instagram. Do. You do. Thank and, you. and some jackass tells them that they're dinosaur penises. <laughs> I, I honestly, I would give you... Uh, wait, are you? Are we done with Fuji House? Yeah, I'm done. I'm, okay, I yeah. said what I had to. <laughs> yeah, it, it's one of those things where I would rather look at a book of your dinosaur penises. I really would. I think that's Aww. a great art style for you. Thank you. And I, I think I can see sequential art for that. I would rather do that than watch. I would rather produce an art book of Brannick's dinosaur penises than watch Ouija House ever again. Yeah. Well, I mean, my dinosaur penises are really nice. Fantastic. Thank you. I, 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 I enjoy that. them. I enjoy them. And I'm, I, it's, I'd rather do a lot of things other than, you know, I'd rather spend a lot of money doing you'd, like. You'd rather article. put together a bike and put it on Instagram. <laughs> yes. I actually. Oh, and, and Sunny Bikes. If you guys are wondering what kind of bike you can get, it's like Sunny really put some great cheap but solidly built easy to put together bike and then you you wear your zero shoes and you put on your misha barton pants and you just get out there man you're making that beer yeah (laughs) i put my mega beer inside the casters and uh and you're good and you listen to your terror reads which i hope is coming out soon Terror reads. I would love. You know what? If I ever get to, if I ever get the chance, I, I will break cafe. I'm like, oh, you know, we need to talk. So I, I have a great promotion for you. It's terror reads, <laughs> and yeah, I I can't wait. It's awesome. It's gonna be cool. Brannick's new. No wait, new podcast about uh, dinosaur penises comes out in June. Yeah, it's gonna of be great. 2020. Yeah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Now, I appreciate everyone. So that's our show. Oh, wait, wait. No, we got a plug. Plugs. We got plugs. a plug. Okay, Brannick, what do you want to plug? So since my movie this week was Witchcraft and yes. talking about witchcraft, I yes. decided that I would like to um, uh, plug Land of Hope 
um, which their mission is to Ooh, save innocent ch- children accused of witchcraft from exclusion, torture, and death. Dude, yeah, I that's knew. Not a joke. Yeah, uh, I knew you were gonna do that. Oh my god. Um, if you have seen, like, there's been pictures on the internet of um one of their founding people like giving water mm-hmm. to one of the children that was accused of witchcraft and who was starving. Wow. Um, that was like in 2006. Um, wow. They've really grown since then. They have a lot of children that they take care of and to provide uh, housing for, education for, things like that. So Land of Hope, uh, It's you can go online. It's landofhope.global. And you can read about global. the- global? Well, That's a thing? I, it says that. HTTPS wow. landofhope.global. Jeez. I don't know. R- learning of things, I guess. But it talks about the children that they help, and it talks about some of the things that they're doing. So go so check. What kind of out. children are they? They're children who are accused of witchcraft. Yeah. Like, like, what? Which, which not to be a dick? What country? Um, I believe it might be. I don't want to say anything without knowing. Um, let me okay. see. Um, Blink twice if it's North America. Nigeria's witch children. Oh, yeah, but you know what? There is this, I read from, I read from Michael or- or- Orwater. He was someone I published long ago. He wrote a short story called Nyabar, the, the Night Witch. And there's actually a witch doctor problem there. Like an honest guy, like kill little kids, witch doctor problem. So I can, I kind of see what the culture is coming from, but yeah, it, if if you allow kids to I me, mean, come on, man. Learn from our mistakes. Don't burn kids alive. I alive. I'm not gonna say anything culturally, but I am gonna say these are innocent kids. Jeez, I hate you innocent. so much. <laughs> need to take that away from you where's my kazoo i need my kazoo um anyway land of hope land Land of hope hope. dot global i think land of hope dot global but if you just google land of hope you will you will see yeah don't google land of nope yeah don't is my title my sex tape although nope, nope nope i am looking forward to yeah well I will follow that one. I only have one plug, and it's going to be the one I put in my electrical. No, and I'm going to plug bodies. Our, we have a call for an anthology yes. for women's charities. Pew, pew. And if if you want to do horror or horror adjacent, come on in. I'll even take poems. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Let, let, let's let's make a little anthology out so I can stress about what the cover should be for like women. For women for and... Women, yeah, it goes to, like, multiple charities. For, like, for education for women and, like, legal rights for women. And Emily abortion Dickinson, rights right? For women and, and Emily Dickinson. Do you like I, poetry yeah. and shit? Come and put in some work and give us your money. So we can give that money to Emily Dickinson. That's right. I'm going to dig her up. <laughs> and then give her that sweet, sweet money. Here's the money, mother. <laughs> and also Girls Who Code and... Yeah. Like it's education, and it's like it's it's all it's a holistic thing for them. I think. It's I, I think a that's great the best thing. thing. It's a great. It's going to be a fun anthology, guys. Like, you know, it's it's rough right now for AFABs and for women out there. So, like, let's let's get to it. Let's get writing. And what the fuck's an AFAB? A female assigned at from- birth, which oh. I am. Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck oh, off. A fabs? Is that a, 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 a female? So. Assigned at birth, which is what I am because ah. I'm non binary. Oh, shit. That was the wrong one. I'm so sorry. I was supposed to do this one. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, so, anyway, so and if you word. like Haunted MTL, we're really LGBTQ friendly, obviously. We, we Actually, we are. We are, though. So. I mean,. Uh, I, I think we are. I don't know. Yeah, so anyway, AFABs, if you're out there, give a holler. And uh, come over and, and give us some of your the stuff that you got. You know, we would like to read it. 
yeah, it doesn't matter who you are. Everyone can submit and read and buy and stuff like that. It's all goodness and gracious. And we do just always say, I, I'll hit this home. Like some people do like, well, we cover, you know, your percent goes to charity. Like, no, the whole fucking thing goes to charity. I don't, I, I eat the cost of production, uh, whatever. A hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> put my, I have. If you see my camera, my 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 hands and my my, my face, and my yeah, hand right now. His yeah, fingers are digging into his skull and eyeball sockets. Yeah, my eye holes. Yeah, yeah, but that's true. It's it's a hundred percent. And yeah. every time my accountant goes like, "What the fuck are you doing, man?" And and that's when Jim <laughs> says, "I give a shit," and this is what I do to give a yeah. shit. So. Yeah. I, I think that's the, the proper thing. But thanks yeah. And uh, with that said, remember, <laughs> kids, if you saw a movie that we haven't, well, fucking good for you. There's like, what, a couple billion people on that there's planet? Like, there's two and of there's us. There's a billion oh, like, movies out there. Fuck it. You know, like. Yeah, well, we can't cover them all. We cannot, but we're trying. We're getting there. Yeah. I think we I got mean, like 1% so far. Like it's my battery life on my damn phone. One percent is all I get sometimes, you know. But with that said, on behalf of myself, Jim Phoenix, and my co-host J.M. Brannick, we bid you good day. Bye bye. Bye everyone. Goodbye. Bye mom. Give me your order. I hear a cat.